All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I hope you're all good. So, as I said in another video that's probably come out before this, I asked you guys if you wanted uh, to suggest different themes and different ideas for videos for me to shoot for you all. Uh, so this is one that was requested, and so I'm going to shoot it. And it is my top three warm-ups that I do when I'm preparing for a gig or when I'm preparing to play in a more serious sense, less than just picking up the guitar and having a little noodle. So anything that's like a proper situation that I have to play, uh, I'll use these warm-ups. And they generally get me loosened up, limbered up and ready to go. Just before we get stuck into this video, I want to let you know it is sponsored by Musicism, which is an online learning platform. I was involved in the guitar course, creating the guitar course. There's over 15 hours of guitar lessons on Musicism's website. There's also a production course done by Dave Hollingworth and a vocal course done by Hannah Bolton. There's a link in the description box below. You can sign up for £9.99 or $14.99 and there's going to be new content and new lessons going up every month. So you should check it out if you like what you hear. So my warm-ups, as I said, these are what I normally do, not necessarily thinking about it, but before a gig, for example, and there are three different ones that I like to do. One uh, focuses on uh, synchronicity between the picking hand and the fretting hand. One focuses on loosening up the wrist for rhythm chops. And the final one focuses on my hybrid picking because it's something I've adopted over the last few years of my playing. So I want to make sure that that's synced up as well. So the first exercise, it's the picking synchronicity exercise. It's less a speed exercise, although you can do it as fast as you want to. I would advise using a metronome uh, if you're new to this kind of thing. And the whole point is for it to sync up your right and left hand. It's based around just chromatic notes. It's not very musical, but this is something that I just do when I'm sat in the green room waiting to play a gig. So this guitar is tuned to E flat. Doesn't matter what tuning you're in. If you're in standard, it's the same frets. If you're in drop, like C standard, it's the same frets. Anyway, we start on the first fret E string. And we're going to end on the t 13th fret top E. And the whole point here is to alternate pick through a chromatic series of notes moving up a string. There's also some sliding involved because that's something I like to do a lot is slide around and sometimes that involves picking at the same time. So let me play over the first two strings so you can see what's happening. <laughs> So as you could see quite clearly, it's a chromatic exercise. So we start on the E string, go to the A string, slide up a fret, sort of descend, then slide up a fret again. Really quickly once again. Now we continue this pattern on the D, G, B and E string, sliding up, going down, sliding up, going up, and then basically like this, and it will, you'll end up on the 13th fret E string. So. So I'm going to finish the rest of the exercise now. It's the same pattern repeated over and over again, but we've, we're already sort of the first part through. So I'm going to carry on onto the D string and then we'll do the whole thing again. So the only thing to bear in mind is that the first uh, string, you don't do any sliding on. The sliding part starts on the A string and then all the rest of them. So let's start from the top and do it slowly and you can follow me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And that would be the first exercise. As I said, I just kind of do this mindlessly in the green room when I'm just waiting for a gig. Uh, again, you can do that at any speed you want. It's good for practicing dexterity and speed and all that kind of stuff. Really, it's more about just locking in with both hands. 
Okay, so the next one is my sort of loosen up of the rhythm kind of exercise. You could use any chord you want for this. It's more about the rhythm, it's the right hand. Um, so I'm gonna choose a minor seven flat five, which is that Jimi Hendrix chord. Again, you can use any chord you want for this, but really what's going on is on the right hand. And I always do this. This is one of my favorite little exercises to warm up. Uh, and this is how it goes. So this exercise is about loosening up the right hand, the wrist, um, so you don't get tense really. Whenever it doesn't matter what kind of music you play, it's about relaxing. You know, whatever speed you play at and what kind of music you play at, it's about being relaxed and controlled. So this exercise is really just to get the the blood flow and get the muscles moving a bit. As I said, you can choose any chord, and you might recognise that rhythm's very common. Uh, basically, the whole point here is to play that exercise and you want to be moving your hands up and down the whole time, muting with the left hand on the, on the strings, so... So as you could see, most of the accents were on downstrokes, the beginning and the end were on downstrokes, like... Then the whole point here that makes it difficult is you throw in a six tuplet, so you swap around the beginning and the end, so you start the second half on the up, like this. So I'll do the first half and then you'll see what I mean. So I played two bars of it, the first bar was done with downstrokes, the beginning and the end, and the second bar after the six tuplet sent me to do the beginning and the end on upstrokes. So it's really fun for that because it's it's about you know keeping the rhythm the same, trying to get the same amount of dynamic there. So you don't really want to notice that you've swapped it around. The hardest part is doing the sixth tuplet to to reverse it back to normal again because it's a really slightly awkward thing to do. You'll see what I mean. So it's awkward. And I guess if, you, if you're not used to this kind of exercise, get a click track going and try and stay in the pocket with it. But the whole point is just to loosen up that wrist do that rhythm, the whole time it should be up and down. The sixth tuplet really will throw you off at first if you've never done that kind of thing before. But if you're into that, it's basically a really good warm up for loosening up the wrist. So uh, I hope that one's helpful. So the third and final exercise uh, is probably the most difficult for those that aren't familiar with hybrid picking. The whole point of this is just to get used to using my middle finger, which is my primary hybrid picking finger uh, and then it also kind of gets the dexterity between my fingers on my left hand as well. So I'll play this over the fifth and third fret between G and D string. This is before we go into what I'm doing on the left hand it's more about what I'm doing with the right hand. Um, so let me show you the picking pattern. <laughs> So it's a combination of pick and pluck with the hybrid picking finger. On the left hand, I'm pulling off, so... And then I'm going down to the next string, so that's 5-3-0 on the G. All with the down stroke. And then I'm going to down pick the 5th fret D and then I'm going to hybrid pick the open G and then we're going to hammer on uh, 3 to 5 on the D 
with a down pick and then hybrid pick that open G again. So the whole thing is It might take you a little bit of time to get that under your fingers, but it's really, really satisfying when you get it down, so. You can do it at any speed, whatever feels comfortable. I was demonstrating the slow and the fast. It's actually, I do it so fast nowadays, like to just get used to it, that playing it slower is harder. But where it gets more difficult and always the little, the, the curve ball in there is I like to alternate which fingers I'm doing it with. So that was the ring finger and the index. But I like to do it with the middle finger and the index finger. So that's gonna be four and three. It sounds horrible, so you could do five and four. And then I also like to do it with uh, my little finger and my ring finger, which is the hardest because it's th those two fingers for some reason. Uh, well, I broke this finger when I was younger, so it's kind of made things a lot more difficult, but that's why I do this exercise. <laughs> As you could hear, that one's way harder. And as I said, I broke my finger, my ring finger when I was young. So it's kind of made the two fingers move really weirdly together. Hasn't really affected other stuff, but that exercise has made it more difficult. And that's why I do it. Um, but then you can try little finger and middle finger. <laughs> Lastly, you can do your little finger and your index finger. So that could be five and two. Or, I mean, you could even do it between five and three. But then what I try and do, uh, and again, this is my warm-up technique, so, I, you know, I will do, uh, I might go middle finger, index finger, and then I might go uh, ring finger, middle finger, and then little finger, ring finger, so... That's, that's probably the hardest one, trying to alternate and keep that in time. Um, but again, it's really good for just limbering up the fingers. And then I'll, I might do uh, middle to index, then ring to index, then little to index, like this. And that would be the third and final exercise, the things I like to use for warm-ups. You can do these again with any you know, tuning, any chord, doesn't really matter. It's about the actual physicalities of, of the exercise. Um, so hopefully they will be helpful for you guys. Uh, and if you've never tried hybrid picking or anything like that, particularly for the last exercise, it's a great way to get into it. And as I said, it's well satisfying when you, when you get that particular uh, fingering under there. When I'm playing a gig, I do do those a lot. Before shooting this video, I didn't really do them and I thought, oh, I'll just throw them out there and actually shot myself in the foot because they're really hard uh, if you want to teach somebody them without actually warming up with them. So basically the moral of the story is warm up before you play a gig. Uh, let me know in the comments section if that was useful for you guys. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you all very soon.